Well, one in four girls and one in six boys are abused by the age of 18. It's a subject most children do not want to talk about. Here to help raise awareness about it is Carol Teitelbaum of Creative Change Conferences Hi. and Daniel Marquez. Hi, Thank you for you joining doing? us this morning. Thank you for having uh, us. Carol, first question I'd like to ask you, tell us about the Monster Under the Bed event. We're going to start out with the Palm Springs Jazz Band and then Dave Pelzer, who is amazing. Mm -hmm. He had the worst case of child abuse in California's history in 1973 and since then he wrote a book, A Child Called It. Oh yeah. And most young people have read that book so they're very mm -hmm. excited to see him in person. And he has done so much with his life. He's written like 15 books now, and mm -hmm. he's married, has a child. He fueled the jet planes above, you know, he would yeah. do the fueling. And he speaks about whatever happened to you in your childhood, you can still lead a productive life. Right. So he's going to be speaking with us along with four other survivors and myself. And, you know, we hear that the numbers could be a lot larger if more children would come forward. Daniel, let me ask you, as an abuse survivor, why is it that a lot of children keep this a secret? It's fear. It's yeah. a lot of fear. They don't. They don't want. They don't want it to be about them. And most of the time, it's usually uh, people of trust. Yes. Yeah, okay. uh, most of the time, uh, for my my circumstances, I am the seven percent, which is the seven percent you don't know. Okay. Okay. They're strangers, and that's the seven percent. But most of the time, it's a. Uh, it is a family member or, or uh, acquaintances or, or friends of the family. For, for children who do not come forward with this, uh, what are the consequences later in life for them? There's addiction, a lot of addictions, a lot, a lot of uh, compulsive disorders, uh, emotional disorders. Um, you, you can't connect in relationships. Very, very hard to connect uh, and trust. A lot of trust issues. Well, Daniel, we appreciate you talking to us about this. Carol, Thank let you. me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Can you give us maybe just a few signs to look for that maybe you know of him? A lot of people look down, their heads down like this <laughs> all the time because they, they don't feel good about themselves, so their shoulders are rounded. For a lot of uh, girls and boys, they wear really big clothes to cover up their genitals so that nobody can see them mm. or their breasts. And so they're not, they're like asexual, okay. so that you can't be seen. And all of a sudden, somebody could have straight A's and, and be failing in school or sleeping all the time or taking really long showers, 45 minutes. Parents need to be aware of these kind of things. Okay. And if they're hanging out with, um, someone who's kind of taking over if there's a single parent and a man or a woman is saying oh let me take your child and mentor them we want to think it's a wonderful thing yeah. but if that person doesn't have other friends and doesn't do other things and is only wanting to hang out with your kid yeah Red flag, something's not right there. That's why we have to raise awareness about this. If you'd like to help uh, out with this and you want to attend this free event, it's this Monday, November 19th from 7, uh, 4 to 7 p.m. at the Palm Springs Unified mm -hmm. School Office. There's the address on your screen. Also, remember this, save the date. This March 1st and 2nd of 2013, the fifth annual It Happens to Boys 2 conference at the Doral Desert Princess Hotel in Palm Springs, and the author of A Child Called It will also be in attendance. There's the information right there. Do what you can to help these children during these dark times.